Cubies, welcome to another day in Seoul. I'm very excited today because you know where I'm going. I'm going to the Harry Potter Cafe here in Seoul. There it is. It looks so beautiful. I'm a huge, huge Harry Potter fan, okay, huge. And this is actually the first time I'm going to a Harry Potter themed cafe. So this is a five floor cafe. Look at the size of it. It's huge. I have to click a picture here. Okay, let's go in now. Oh my God, these are all the wands. My God, my Potterhead heart is going crazy right now. There's the Marauders map. This Hedwig also. <laughs> so cute. That's the cake that Hagrid baked for Harry when he went to pick him up and tell him that he's a wizard. So we're having this cubies, the European sausage with two drinks. What's your interview question? You did? Sometimes people interview them and they ask the same dumb questions and I felt like you asked different questions that people don't usually ask them. So I really liked it. I remember watching Thank it. Thank you. Like, What's, your you What's your name? What's your name? Cindy. Cindy, you want to say hi in my hi. vlog? Hi. Cindy watched my BTS interview and she's saying she really liked it. Thank you. She did an excellent job. Thank you so much. You're so You're sweet. Welcome. Where are you from? Uh, uh, Korea? Korea. California. Mm -hmm. So you're here for a holiday? Yeah. Yeah. We're here until tomorrow. Oh, okay. we've been here since last year. Have a good time. Have a good yeah. holiday. Yeah. Thank you. Is the visit butter or non-alcoholic? Non-alcoholic. Okay, so one uh, non-alcoholic uh, visit butter and one visit chocolate. This looks like the three broomsticks. Food is here. I'll show it this way. This is better, I think. Right? And that's the European sausage platter. So this drink is the wizard's beer. I think that's the hot chocolate. It has a tiny sorting hat made of chocolate. That's so fancy. <laughs> I feel like a child. Ooh, it looks like an octopus. <laughs> oh, it's also spicy. So good. So Harry Potter is British, so this is like an European style of lunch, you know? Harry Potter is my entire childhood. I got into Harry Potter when I was like, what, 10 years old? I've read every book hundreds of times. And I've seen every movie so many times. I know all of the dialogues. So for me, this is so cool to be here. Look at this one, Cubies. That's huge. The hot chocolate. Oh, it's not hot. Why am I calling it hot chocolate? It's wizard chocolate. It's wizard chocolate. Mm. It's so perfect. It has this platform nine and three quarters written on it. I don't feel like piercing it and destroying it, but I have to. So there we go. Oh wow! It has caramel in it. A lot of caramel, and it's very sweet. <laughs> lot of sugar. Nine and three quarters. It's like a tiny beer. So cute. I'm gonna eat the whole thing Abhi. Ah. I give up. I'm gonna eat the sorting hat now. It's dark chocolate. Mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And we were really hungry today. Even though I had like a whole seafood stew at home before leaving. <laughs> Tubies. Hedwig found a boyfriend. <laughs> That's the fourth floor QVs. It looks like it's Christmas themed. So pretty. And over here, you have ropes which you can try. I'm all set in the Gryffindor ropes QVs. All set for Hogwarts. <laughs> I always wanted to try these and I thought I'll get to try them when I go to the visiting world in London or is it in Orlando? I don't know. I never thought I'll get to try them in Seoul. Even the lift is fancy and scary. We are here to check out the last floor and it looks like, oh you know what this looks like? Uh, the leaky cauldron, the one that's in uh, Diagon Alley, the one that is in the care of Tom. This is that, through which you get into Diagon Alley. Man, this is so fun. I love it. This is a Potterhead's dream. Somehow when I look outside, it does look like a muggle street, but in the Potter world. <laughs> Even the stairs are like that, with portraits on the side. 
we're now going to explore the last floor it looks like it's in the dungeons <laughs> there's a dementor expecto patronum <laughs> look at that omg that was awesome such a great experience every potterhead should come here if you're in seoul definitely visit this cafe it was such a treat i had such a good experience the brooms are back they have these colorful brooms here did i show them before this looks like it belongs to nymphedora tongs <laughs> so this cafe is in hongdae which is one of the party districts uh, of seoul this is a place where it's a university area right yeah. so a lot of young crowd and it's known for its nightlife so we're going to explore this area today qbs do you want ramen pink carpet this is a shopping street here in hongdae So I was actually here in Hongdae yesterday itself, and I bought a lot of um, accessories and some like cute mobile covers and stuff because I feel like Korea really has the cutest mobile covers, <laughs> and I'm really into accessorizing my phone. So I got this one, which is handmade. It was very pretty. I got this also yesterday from you only. <laughs> and there were shops and shops and shops, but like thousands and thousands of these cuffs, rings, earrings, and this. so many varieties to choose from i think i bought like some 50 50 pairs of i don't know earrings and cuffs necklaces everything so this is one area where there's a lot of busking that happens i think there's something happening over here so let me try to show you all yeah look at that Apparently every day there are different groups or people busking here dancing singing playing instruments this is a very lively area and the more you get into the evening it gets more and more lively it's better on weekends better on weekends so yeah crazy this is actually there's a lot going on today also because it's a friday ah uh, see there's one more he's singing over there I forgot one thing. Remember my, that vlog of mine in which I told you all how to be confident when you're talking in English, and I gave you some tips. That was like two years ago or one year ago, I think. And I narrated the story about how my sister, you, I'm talking about you, tore my half blood prince book into two because we had some because we had some stupid fight, and she knew that would hurt me the most. I know what I did and now I remember. I took her drawing book, the hard cover and I tore it first. <laughs> yeah, and I made some art out of it because I wanted hard paper. I forgot about that. Then she came up she's like, "Ye tumne kya?" She went to my shelf, took out my tablet prints, tore the cover and put tore it into four pieces and threw it. Ye lo. <laughs> So I started it. <laughs> you redeemed yourself. I redeemed you. <laughs> I forgot about this part. <laughs> wow, one of the silly fights that we had. But I think today, coming here to the cafe together, wow, that was just fabulous. Busking? More busking? Where? Ahead? Maybe a little ahead. Hmm. Every ten meters, there are people busking here. It's a nice area, nice vibe. I feel like I'll come here again. student area that's why it's very really very vibrant very vibrant young energy good food i hope you all enjoyed my vlog i really wanted to go to the harry potter cafe rack i really wanted to go and i wanted to share the experience with all of you if there are any potter heads here in my list in my audience just let me know what you think of it because it will be so nice to know your opinions So thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed my vlog. I had so much fun shooting this one. Honestly, I really had a lot of fun, and I'm very happy I could share the experience with all of you. I will see you in the next video very soon. Take care. I love you all. Be kind to people. Be kind to yourself. Take care. Bye. I love you.